Assalamu alaikum. In our previous lectures, we have uh, learned uh, the application of Nyquist stability criterion to determine the stability of closed loop systems. Uh, we also know that uh, stability of closed loop systems can be determined by uh, other techniques uh, as well, for example, uh, by root stability criterion and by root locus techniques. So, what is additional advantage of Nyquist stability uh, criterion over other techniques? So, the additional advantage of Nyquist uh, theory is that we can tell about the degree of stability of a system. That is, we can uh, tell about relative stability of the systems. Uh, to uh, study the relative stability of systems, uh, there are two quantitative measures that is, gain margin and phase margin and to understand these two terms uh, let's consider a system closed loop system given by uh, this uh, diagram with a loop gain uh, given by this uh, transfer function the polar plot uh, of uh, this system is given over here and we can see that uh, since this critical point is not encircled by this polar plot therefore this closed loop system is stable so what will happen if we add some gain uh, to this uh, transfer function? So if uh, gain is added uh, over here, then uh, this polar plot uh, will be changed. It will be magnified curve. The shape of the curve will be the same. However, it will be magnified. That is by addition of a gain. Uh, this is a new polar plot and we see that uh, now the system with some additional gain inserted over here uh, will become unstable because this critical point is encircled. For a certain particular value of gain, the graph will pass to this critical point and the closed loop system will be critically stable. And this particular gain, which is required to make the system uh, critically stable, that gain is called gain margin. For example, in this particular uh, case, uh, if we add a gain equal to 1 divided by 0.67 uh, to this system, this system will become marginally stable or critically stable. The second quantitative measure is phase margin. Uh, what is phase margin? Uh, on this graph, we have different points and uh, uh, we locate the point on this graph with magnitude equal to 1. Uh, here is uh, a unit circle and all the points on this circle have magnitude equal to 1. So therefore, length of this vector is equal to 1. And if uh, we add this much phase angle to this point, this point will be shifted over here and again uh, the system will become marginally stable. So phase margin is the angle required to make the system critically stable. Uh, these two terms are more, far, more formally defined over here. Gain margin is the change in open loop gain expressed in decibels required at 180 degree of phase shift to make the closed loop system unstable. For example, here is the polar plot uh, for certain system and uh, this point this point has uh, a phase angle of 180 degrees and how much gain is required to shift this point over here uh, that gain is equal to 1 divided by 1 over a so uh, therefore gain margin for this particular system is equal to a similarly phase margin is changed in the open loop phase angle required at unity gain to make the closed loop system unstable uh, here is uh, a unit circle and this point uh, has a magnitude equal to 1 and if we add an angle alpha to this point this point will be shifted over here to make the system critically stable so this alpha is the phase margin let's uh, elaborate these points with the help of certain examples here is uh, a, a closed loop system with the uh, loop gain given by this transfer function and uh, we have already learned how to sketch the polar plot for this particular system 
uh, the polar plot is shown over here again at uh, this uh, uh, point that is equal to 0 0.05 and uh, how much gain is required to shift this point to the critical point uh, that is uh, equal to 1 divided by 0 0.05 uh, so gain margin is equal to 20 log of 1 divided by 0 0.05 which is 26 dBs what is phase margin? Uh, to determine phase margin, we locate the point on this graph with magnitude equal to 1. So all the points on this graph have magnitude less than 1. Uh, hence, uh, phase margin is infinity. No matter how much phase angle you add uh, to this system, uh, that will always remain stable. And uh, gain margin and phase margin must be positive for stable systems. Here is another example. The polar plot obtained using MATLAB. This is complete Nyquist plot. That is shown over here. And to determine uh, phase margin and gain margin, uh, we determine uh, this point. And we also determine the point uh, with uh, magnitude equal to 1 on this graph. Uh, gain margin uh, comes out to be equal to 5.11 and phase margin uh, we locate the point with magnitude equal to 1 and determine the phase angle and uh, th this phase angle this phase angle uh, that comes out to be equal to 21.5 degrees and phase margin and gain margins uh, for this particular system are positive and hence the closed loop system is stable uh, here is uh, another uh, system and we have obtained the Nyquist plot for this system using MATLAB. What we see is that uh, the magnitude of this point is greater than 1. Hence, uh, we need a gain reduction to make it uh, critically stable. That is to make it pass through this point. So, gain margin for this particular system is negative. We need a gain reduction. And uh, to determine phase margin, we shall again determine the points uh, with uh, magnitude equal to 1 and uh, find the phase angle. So here is uh, the same graph magnified. And uh, this point corresponds to uh, magnitude equal to 1. And remember that we are only looking at the graph for positive frequencies, which is the polar plot. So the magnitude uh, of this point is equal to 1 and we need to add a negative angle to shift this point uh, over here. Therefore, phase margin for this particular system is also negative. These, uh, this comes out to be equal to uh, minus 25.9 degrees and gain margin is also negative which is minus 7.96 degrees. So gain margin and phase margin both uh, are negative and hence uh, this uh, closed loop system will be unstable. Here uh, this graph was obtained by MATLAB and uh, we can easily locate the point on this graph uh, with magnitude equal to 1. However, uh, the head sketch of polar plots that is much more inaccurate and therefore we cannot uh, locate the uh, point with magnitude equal to 1 from the head sketch of polar plots. And uh, therefore, determination of the phase margin uh, from the polar plots obtained by hand sketch that is uh, somehow difficult. Uh, we can also read the same information about gain margin and phase margin from the Bode diagrams. We know that Bode diagrams and polar plots convey the same information. Therefore, the uh, gain margin and phase margins can also be read from uh, Bode diagrams. So on the next slide, we learn how to determine phase margin and gain margin from the body diagrams. Uh, here is a polar plot of a system and uh, uh, here is body diagram. In the body diagram, we have two different graphs. One for the magnitude frequency response and second for the phase frequency response. In the polar plot, uh, this information uh, is uh, depicted in a single graph. And here we have two different 
uh, graphs. So from the polar plots, we were able to read the gain margin. Uh, we located the point with phase angle of 180 degrees and then we determined the gain required to shift this point to this point. So where is this point on the body diagram? What is phase angle of this point? Phase angle of this point is 180 degrees or uh, minus 180 degrees. And this point can be easily located in the body diagram. Uh, this point has an angle equal to uh, minus 180 degrees. And what is gain uh, corresponding to this point? Gain corresponding to this point can be read from uh, this graph. And uh, this gain in this particular case is less than 1. This 0 dB line, uh, 0 dB uh, in linear scale is equal to 1. And uh, this is less than 1. And this much gain is required to shift this point over here. And hence, this is gain margin. And how to read phase margin? To read the phase margin, we locate a point with magnitude equal to 1 on this graph, which is this point. And where is this point uh, in the body diagram? Uh, magnitude equal to 1 means uh, 0 dB. So this point is 0 dB point. Uh, that is magnitude equal to 1. And, and the phase angle corresponding to this point is less than minus 180 degrees in magnitude. And uh, this phase angle, this phase angle is the same as uh, the phase angle uh, from here to here, from here to here, and uh, which is uh, the same as phase margin. So this angle is phase margin. Uh, if the angle uh, is less than minus 180 degrees in magnitude, that will be positive phase margin. And uh, if uh, this uh, point is less than 0 dB line, then this uh, gain margin will be positive. So in this particular system, uh, we have positive gain margin and positive phase margin. Therefore, this closed loop system is uh, stable. Uh, here is another polar plot. And uh, here is uh, the body diagram. This point, uh, which uh, corresponds to 180 degrees phase angle, is uh, over here. And the gain corresponding to <coughs> this point is greater than 1. And uh, we have a negative gain margin. Uh, that is, this much gain reduction is required to make the system critically stable. Uh, to determine uh, phase margin, uh, we locate this point which is uh, over uh, here uh, 0 dB line that is magnitude equal to 1 and phase angle is greater than uh, minus 180 degrees uh, in magnitude and this uh, is the phase margin which is negative hence uh, the closed loop system is unstable. Uh, as an example consider uh, this uh, system with loop gain given by this transfer function and here is uh, the body plot obtained using MATLAB. To uh, read the phase margin and gain margin, we locate uh, the points. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, this point, which is called gain crossover point. And read the phase angle corresponding to this point, uh, which is uh, over here. Uh, less than minus 180 in magnitude. And this angle. Uh, is basically uh, the phase margin and to uh, determine gain margin we locate this point phase crossover frequency and read the gain corresponding to it and uh, this is less than 0 dB and hence the gain margin is also uh, positive and the closed loop system is stable. Gain margin comes out to be equal to 11.5 dB and phase margin uh, is 58.9 degrees this, uh, this angle is 58.9 degrees and uh, this gain is 11.5 uh, uh, degrees as an another example uh, we have a body diagram for this uh, system and again uh, we can determine uh, the phase margin and gain margin 
uh, to read uh, phase margin uh, we locate the point uh, gain crossover point and uh, read the phase corresponding to it and hence uh, this much angle uh, this is the phase uh, margin to read the gain margin we locate the point uh, with uh, uh, phase angle of minus 180 degrees so what we can see is that phase angle will equal to minus 180 degrees at a frequency equal to infinity and uh, at that particular frequency gain uh, will be dropped to, to minus infinity degrees and hence the uh, gain margin for this particular system is infinity phase margin is 36.9 degrees and gain margin is infinity and closed loop system is stable in other system uh, with body diagram and, uh, and to determine uh, phase margin we locate the gain crossover frequency and read the phase angle and phase angle is uh, greater than uh, 100 minus 180 degrees in magnitude and hence the phase margin is negative and is equal to this angle angle from uh, here to here and uh, similarly to read uh, gain margin we ro locate the phase crossover frequency which is over here and to read the gain corresponding to it gain corresponding to it is uh, this gain uh, which is uh, this point has gain larger than 1 larger than 0 dB so gain margin is also negative uh, which is equal to this much gain uh, and this comes out to be equal to uh, gain margin comes out to be equal to minus 7.96 uh, dB and phase margin is minus 25.9 degrees both the gain margin and phase margin uh, are negative hence the closed loop system is unstable uh, here is another system and uh, this system has one pole in the right half plane and uh, we remember uh, from our previous knowledge that both the polar plots and uh, the body diagrams these can only be utilized for systems which do not have any open loop pole in the right half as plane for the systems which have uh, any pole in the right half as plane we need to sketch the complete Nyquist plot and body diagrams and polar plots cannot be utilized to uh, study uh, the uh, stability of uh, those systems. Therefore, for this particular system, we cannot utilize uh, body diagrams to uh, study uh, the uh, phase margin and gain margin. In today's lecture, we have learned how to utilize polar plots and body diagrams to uh, study the relative stability of uh, systems. Uh, in the next lecture, we shall learn how to uh, use body diagrams to design compensators uh, to improve the stability margins.